All right, guys, welcome back to more Wasteland 3. My name is Rangers. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Okay, your squad can have six members. No more than four can be rangers. The other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Quan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help out all the same. Oh. Okay. Show us who you got lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. That's true. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. We're gonna need a. Uh, we're gonna need a computers guy. We're gonna. Uh, we already got the sniper and the sneaky melee. So we're gonna need someone who's good at weapons, and we're gonna need a computers guy. That's four. The other two, I, I gotta see. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Okay. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. We definitely need our okay, plus one. Okay, uh we need a big guns person. Okay, mechanics. Small arms, weapons modding. Level three mechanic. Okay. We already have a sniper. I really don't want two. Brawling. I already have a melee person. Although it is nothing wrong with having a backup just in case one gets killed. Infiltrator. So she's a sneaky. Crash. Hacker. I think I'm definitely, I think I'm going to get her a hacker and okay, what do we have? Commander, modder. Oh, shoot. Definitely need him. Trooper. So that's automatic weapons. She's just a, a weapons person. Shell shot. He or she's a weapons person. I can't tell if that's a woman with that helmet. Sasquatch. Danny smiles. Traitor. Oh, but she's a mechanic. That's a definite, though. Small arms and weapons mining. That's one. Two. Where's that trooper? It's a hacker. Explosive expert. And she, she's good. She uses big guns. Shell shock. We need a rifle person. Okay. If you only have a maximum of four player paid rangers in your squad. Okay. Fine. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it.
Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're gonna want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Ain't that the truth. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Okay. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs> Companions. Degree for his companions are pre made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off, and they could leave you high and dry. Wow, leaving at least two spots open for companions, there's no reason not to take them, take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Okay, fine then. Rock and roll. Matter of fact, got some things here. Shotguns. Her shotgun. Twelve to seventeen. I think I have a shotgun here stronger than that. Yep. Oh yeah, small arms. So. Coordination, luck, and awareness. Polar Express rocket. change that 10 to 11 
let's see. Automatic weapons. It's sneaky. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall, or museum, or something, or a handball court. This your press seemingly rested in place. Raid failure. Corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating automatic repair operations. A few log there are fewer logs than you expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. Personal law, Colonel Fortune Twenty. Okay, the world ended yesterday. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone, and we can't make contact with anything, anyone outside of the state. Discipline will keep my men alive, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Filtering tools help you call the routine and really corrupt the reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the files. Don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? For now, yes. We are the Rangers. We work for anyone who needs our help. Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much.
Who's your son? Austin Pease. The skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters. One by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him too. Please, help my son. We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't weak like you. Death to Buchanan! Death to the hundred stinking families! The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is toozled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How'd you get in trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food, some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. Figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Technically, he was, wasn't he? Would have, and then the way they gave him food, gave him a place to stay, and then they told him to vandalize a bit. So technically you were. So why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. You broke the law, you got caught. It seems like justice. Doesn't seem like, doesn't sound like the punishment fits the crime. That's true though. All he did was break windows. He didn't murder anybody. Like. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I, I can't take the chance. Got a dang ex <laughs> escape plan. What's your sentence? Let's say we can free you. What's it worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. I think if we help the marshal and he gets back to the magistrate, it might work. Hopefully it's not... This isn't timed. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work. If you'll have me. That means that's a, uh, another companion. I'm used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun, either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Hmm. Okay. Nice talking to you. Nelius Dorsey lives. He'll okay. kill y'all. Magistrate. The dour man looks out at the pillars with expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face and his thin lips press together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? 
Marshal Quan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Austin P. says he did not kill anyone. What will it take to free him? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Hmm... Magnifying the harm. Oh, wow. So even though he himself didn't kill anybody, it... Mmm. Shoot. Darn it. What if the Rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship over the boy? He's not a bad kid. Fellow someone that has killed him and you might as well kill her. I feel like if I say that, he'll do it. He's too young for a death sentence. Surely you can offer him some mercy. Talk about something else. Goodbye. Let's try this. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I don't even know if we can do that. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. Here you go. His money writes a receipt for you and jots a note in a battered ledger. Tucks the ledger back into his robes. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Lives. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. We talked to the magistrate. He says he'll release you, but you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rangers. Can't wait to get out of here. Hey, Rangers! How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? You Rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Neelius Dorsey Thank lives. You. He'll kill you all. Dorsey scum! Bastards! <clears throat> Ah, oh, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help... Well, hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like... ruffians. <laughs> Are you here to see the Sheriff? <clears throat> ruffians. Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. <laughs> ruffians? What kind of help do you need from the Marshals? It's maddening. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. The Marshals seem a bit overwhelmed at the moment. We'll talk to the sheriff, see what we can do. Thank you, friends. One more voice urging her to action might be sufficient. Thank you. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. <clears throat> uh, 
We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slip right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but... Miss West... Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. What are you working on? Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> it's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Goodbye. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum when the attack started. Jesus! Fucking Dorsey's? I'm... I'm sure she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sheriff is a statuesque woman with a graying blonde hair. And steel in her smile. Well, now, you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. We got a Brig Warden, Merc Armor, Merc Helmet, so a full set. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those <laughs> hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. We'd be glad to help. And I'm glad to hear it. The job's easy enough, if you like using bullets. Now, the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. And please, take young Miss Weston with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm going to insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. You spoke to Sheriff Daisy like you promised, strangers. Thank you. I... I heard her tell you to take me with you to the Garden of the Gods, so when do we leave? 
<laughs> Before we go anywhere, let's talk about your combat experience. You know what Sheriff said. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. All right, then let's go. At last. The, the gunslinger. some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck... those... Dorseys. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Wolf. Isn't that what we fought back at the, the uh, headquarters? Had Wolverine fur. Was that a Wolverine? Who knows?
We are the Rangers. Sit tight. We'll take care of the Dorsies. No promises, but we're planning to kill every Dorsies we find. Stop your blubbering. Just stay out of the way and let us deal with the Dorsies. We're, we're the Rangers. Sit tight. We'll take care of the Dorsies. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hundred families. Oh, that's he's one of the ones we gotta bring back. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands up! Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, man, whatever. Sit up and chase chickens all darn day. What does that do? It's not gonna. Yeah. I don't want that to incinerate me. Deactivate. Oh, whatever. damage times three okay so um, got somebody in here who's an assault rifle specialist shell shock 10 to 11 this is 8 to 10 8 to 11 this is 10 to 11 8 to 11 8 to 11, the same. We see a... <laughs> we see a Wesson. She's the kid. Uh, okay. Her current weapon's better than that, that... This thing. But I guess, as a backup, I'll give it to her. Two assault rifles. It's not named. That's like, was that overkill in COD? I'm right, gonna watch out here. Kind of okay. Don't want to be stepping on landmines. down let's talk this out like adults attack we're not going anywhere i don't think we can can we reason with them though i might just flat out attack them you saying i'm a child Sean you're God. the one who's in for a whooping <sighs> well we can't reason with them Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. They like swarmed this. And it's their turn. Miss. They swarmed me. What the heck? Look at that. Damn, shit just got real. <laughs> I'll say. Attack this guy here. What? Again. So much. Beautiful. 
end your turn and carry over to defend ambush I can't I can't just defend uh next Let's see we got gun 38% out of range. Uh, so since they're right here, bye. Oh, you. I think he's right there, and I miss. That makes no sense. We really gotta work on them. These stats. Really gotta work on the stats. I was better off aiming for these guys. I select the other two. What is hold up? What is going they're dead? can't move Traverse the battlefield. I was about to say, yeah, why well, can't I do this? Why can't I? I had to end my turn? That's why. So we're gonna go up here. My way up. Um, Please! 
Dude, that cat does so much damage. That is insane. He just killed him. He just killed him. The young gentleman is covered with dirt and shivering from the cold. His eyes are wide and shocked. Oh, oh God. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy. Bellamy, look at me. Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... God, no, I was stalling for time. If I had a few hours and the right chemicals, though, I could have prepared quite a surprise for them. My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. Laughed at them when they begged for their lives. The kids were screaming, so they beat them too. Then they dragged them all further on, toward their camp. The PALs, Photon Amplification Lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors, or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross-photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it incinerated the whole fire pit, melted the entire grill. Goes to show what can happen if you put a decimal in the wrong place.
while ago, we found some old, non-functional solar panels from before the deluge of fire. I couldn't figure out their function at first, until I recovered a micro-circuitry board and developed a laser spectrography process. I realized that I could help solve some of the electrical generation issues that have always been a problem for the city. I... I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? <laughs> Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared, and a little banged up, but they were still alive. You saved my life. I won't forget it. Seven, nineteen to twenty-seven. She has twenty-seven to thirty-eight. Let's compare. Mm, her hit the hit chance is worse. Critical hit chance minus a hundred. Better penetration, better ammo capacity, better damage overall. God, it's the decisions, decisions. Saved my life. Okay, so I won't okay. forget it. Oh. Junk. Acid sludge. Hydroskin panels. Junk. So fast, this character is already something. I 
I can't even, whatever. Whoop. Whoops. I need somebody with explosives. Watch out. Charm the animal. In some weird corner, you can't. Test number, uh, one tenth. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the Deluge of Fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. Interface of the computer has been customized. Uh, yeah. Create a new character. Avatar with a cob of corn. State your name was auto generated, but you have doubts. Oh, shoot. Fresh forever to be in the desert garden. You decide to stop. Your series of events lead. All kinds of being slaughtered in the garden, and some guy with a BB gun started hunting you down. Darn it, man. I bet you that's how we get to the safe. Alright guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. I'm out of here. Peace out.